people have really got to the point now where they feel that uh, there is no hope. No one's coming to help them. No one's coming to save them. No one seems to be able to bring this uh, onslaught to an end. And so uh, I'm taking this opportunity to plead with the world, with all the free world, to, to do more because this is unacceptable. Uh, you cannot attack a hospital grounds. We were inundated. We had uh, women, men, children uh, as young as one years of age dying in front of our eyes. And whilst we were in the OR trying to save those uh, persons' lives, another bombing happened on the grounds of the hospital, which shook uh, the OR that I was in fact operating in. For us, uh, it's beyond uh, any rationale that a hospital can be attacked in such a grave manner. We saw the images of people burning alive. These are etched into the minds of the people here. have patients with significant high percentage burns, uh, unfortunately they're, they're, their fate is sealed. Um, they won't even make it to the ICU, uh, they will die and, and that's been the case. Many children, many women with significant burns die uh, and that's the reality on the ground here. We don't have ICU capacity, we don't have appropriate dressings for burns patients. It's a horror show here, it doesn't feel real anymore. where this space has been occupied by patients. Dwindling medications, dwindling um, analgesics, you know, we're doing major trauma and the only thing we can give patients is paracetamol post-operatively. Uh, this is in, inhumane and it's uh, really uh, beyond what uh, any, any people uh, should be expected to tolerate. So I, I implore with the world, please help with this situation.